ta da 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 This is a pâte d'ours that I like very much for breakfast. You probably know a croissant that is a very, very typical French breakfast pastry. And there are actually tons of them in France. So Anya and I have picked 10 different ones today for you that you can try out the next time you're in Nice. We're also going to put together a list for you with our favorite bakeries here in Nice. And afterwards we'll take you to some nice spots in the city where you could sit down and enjoy your pastry. So what does a typical breakfast, a petit déjeuner, look like in France? It's very common to have a pastry like a croissant or a pain au chocolat, a coffee and maybe some orange juice. If you come to the south of France, there's nothing nicer than having your breakfast outdoors. Our idea for you is to buy some pastries at one of the many bakeries. Get a coffee to go and head to the beach. This is what Anya and I did too. Let's dig into our bags and try what we've got. And trust us, the French just know how to bake. Pain au raisin. A very common and very tasty pastry is the pain au raisin, raisin bread, sometimes also called escargot au raisin, raisin snail. It's filled with raisins, obviously, and custard cream, which makes it nice and soggy. Finally, I can eat! <laughs> Sometimes it comes with an icing. And then we talk ultra sweet, but so good. Chausson aux pommes. I'll go for the chausson aux pommes. It's actually a pastry that's also filled with apples. Why it's called chausson, meaning slipper? Who knows? Wikipedia says it's because of the technique used to fill the dough with an apple puree, just like putting on socks. Hmm. And I think it also consists of a dough like croissant. No, maybe not. I don't know. I have to look that up. And we did look it up. It is in fact made of puff pastry or laminated dough like croissants. So let's try. Mm. Mm. You like it? I like it. It's a little bit dry now because we bought it a while back. It's better in the morning, I think, when you buy it and it's right from the oven. If you're lucky, you get a chausson when they're still warm. Pain Suisse. This one is called Suisse Long. It has different names in different boulangeries, bakeries. And uh, sometimes it's called Suisse Long or only Suisse. Or Pain Suisse, have, you have seen as well, right, Ayla? Yes, Pain Suisse or Brioche Suisse are the most common names. Sometimes it's also called pavé suisse or simply la gourmandise, the delicacy. So, and here is exactly the same thing, on, only called tossat because it's twisted. It's twisted, right? <laughs> Both pastries can be made of brioche dough or puff pastry, filled with custard cream and chocolate chips. So let's have a look inside. Let's see if it tastes the same. Here you go. We asked the baker and they said it's the same, it's just a different way of presenting. So I will try. Mm, it's different. Not the taste, but the dough. I think this one will fill you up a little bit more. It's more solid. Croissant. Now for the classic. This is as French as it can get. And it weighs literally nothing. It's super soft as just air. Croissants, originally an Austrian pastry we should add, are made of laminated dough with lots of butter which results in its flaky fluffy texture and they get their shape from the Austrian Kipfall. Check that out, it's nothing. Lots of air, 
some dough around the air. Honestly, I love it. And here's for another classic, a pain au chocolat. Ayla, what would you say? This is like a croissant with chocolate in it, right? Yes, exactly. Now let's try it. Should I? Can I? Finally? Go, go. Okay. Here you go. A lot of butter. Let me see. Here, the chocolate. Chocolate everywhere. So now, and how much? It's melting in the sun. <laughs> the chocolate, I mean. <laughs> Not the pain au chocolat. And it's the pastry kids often go for. Croissant aux amandes. This is called croissant aux amandes. It's a croissant, as you can see. But it's filled with a sweet almond pastry cream. It's really rich and heavy. If you have one, you're full for the day. It's not, not comparable to a real croissant. It's way more heavy. Good, though. Really good. Let's see. Mmm. Like it. That's yeah. really good. Beignet aux pommes. Oh, there exist two beignets, actually, filled with chocolate, and uh, this one is filled with apples. Let's open it. Oh, it's not so much apple, only on the side, if you can see. And this is like a donut dough, right? Yep, it's a yeast dough that gets deep fried. Let's try it. I go for the bit, where's the apple? <laughs> Mm. I think this one is going to fill you up for quite some time. <laughs> I know there's much more. Pâte d'ours. This is the pâte d'ours now, which is bear's paw in English, which I like a lot. And I'm Happy we found it today because they don't have it in every bakery. It's a little bit of a chance sometimes to get it. The bear's paw is made of puff pastry once again and filled with custard cream. And we were told it was a pastry more likely to be found in the south of France than elsewhere. No filling here, just tiny little bits here. It's pretty plain, not, not sweet at all, except for the sugar on top. Palmier. This is my favorite one, called palmier. And the best palmier is made by a boulangerie called Paul. And this is a chain and you find it everywhere in France. There's Paul bakeries in Nice, Cannes, Antibes and some other places on the Côte d'Azur. So if you see Paul, please go and try a palmier. It is made of laminated dough, similar to the one of a croissant, but without the yeast and covered with caramelized sugar. You find something similar in Germany as well, but not made the same way, yeah, right? it's called pig's ear. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, the one in France is much better than the one in Germany. It's very crusty and caramelized. And I'm eating this like this. <laughs> Go from the outside to the inside. This is so good. <laughs> brioche nature and brioche au sucre. Now we'll have a brioche au sucre, a sugar brioche, as you can tell. And the same exists also in nature, as the French would say, without the sugar. A brioche, a plain soft viennoiserie with a lot of butter and eggs, exists in different shapes and styles. Am I going to choose a sugary one? Very soft, a little bit like the pâte d'ours, but with no filling whatsoever. Just plain brioche. Mmm, mmm, I like it. Yeah. It's not too sweet. That's my, my stuff. So, whether you prefer a sweet or not so sweet breakfast, there's more than one pastry for each taste in France. Anya would even be up for cake at breakfast time. And French tartlets are definitely worth another video. Whereas myself... For breakfast, 
no sweetness for me. Later in the day, yes, not for breakfast. The pastry that we've presented to you today is also perfect as a snack in the afternoon. And here's another important fact for you to know. The pastries also exist in a mini format, so if you want to try different ones, why don't you buy the small versions of them? This way you get to try several different ones. Here's a mini croissant, mini pain au raisin, and a cute little pain au chocolat. The best place to have your little outdoor breakfast in Nice, we think, is the beach. No matter what time you show up, there's always a spot for you and your pastry along the Baie des Anges. If it's a bit windy or you'd like to rest your back, sit down at the long wall separating the beach from the promenade. You prefer an even more comfy way to sit and eat? Go for one of the many blue signature chairs at the promenade. No time to waste? You could always nibble your pastry while sightseeing or strolling through the old town. And then there's the huge park in downtown Nice called Promenade du Paillon, and you'll surely find a place to enjoy your breakfast with this view. That being said, you just need to go grab your favorite pastries. Here's some of the best bakeries in Nice. You'll find their exact locations in the description below the film. If you liked our video, why don't you subscribe to our channel and you'll get to see many more stories from the French Riviera.